That's the B-36 Peacemaker, the largest bomber ever built. One of four left in the world. None of them are flying. It never dropped the bomb. I drove four and a half hours to get here. Hey, happy Friday. This is gonna be a busy day. I'm starting way too late. Just grab my coffee, we're gonna hit the road, I'll talk in the car. Okay, it's almost 10.30. This is way too late to start this excursion. But I'm just leaving the hotel. We're driving four and a half hours to Ashland, Nebraska. Crazy, I know. Um, Ashland, I think it's between uh, Lincoln and Omaha. This is a long trip, but I really want to do it, and I don't know if I'll get a chance to do it again. So, we're doing it right now. I got a long drive ahead of me. Okay, so I, it's not there now, but when I just pulled in here, there's this big honking, like it was a truck, like a trailer with like this big long, you know those windmills? You know the blades on the windmills? It was one blade. And we got stuck on the highway about 15 minutes ago, waiting for one to get onto some side road or something like that. It was a big production. Incredibly huge. He was parked right here when I pulled in the gas station. I thought I, thought I could actually, um, get a shot of it without driving by. Like, there's a drive-by shot. Who doesn't love trucks? Mm, I love traveling on the road. I just met Joseph. He was driving that truck. That was uh, when I was... Anyway, uh, he's got a YouTube channel called Millennial Truck... Ker? Millennial Trucker. I couldn't spell it. Now I, I can't even pronounce it. Uh, super nice dude. Thanks, Joseph. He liked my camera, so the camera is a Sony ZV-1. If you see this, because I said it'll be up tomorrow, so maybe by the time you get to Texas, you can watch this video. Awesome meeting you. Great chat. Safe travels on the road. Uh, I have to head up. I, I have to get back on the road. I'm totally uh, losing time. We're never gonna make it to Nebraska at this rate. It's beautiful here, though. I'm not sure where here is, but it's beautiful. Ashland, Nebraska. I just drove four and a half hours to go to the Strategic Air Command uh, Air and Space Museum. They close in an hour and a half. But I'm only here to see one airplane. Is it worth the visit? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Uh -huh. Can I do it in an hour and a half? I think so. Depends on how you go through it. A voodoo. An F-86 Sabre hanging up. What's that there hidden behind the tails? That's the plane I came to see. So that airplane, or, or that model, when I was a kid I built that model. And it hung in the den of my parents' house for like 25 years. It hung from the ceiling. It's, it's, it was too big to like hit, put it on a bookshelf or anything. And I've always been fascinated with the B-36. It's like, there's only four of them left in the world but it's, it was one of the largest bombers ever built. The Peacemaker, I guess it did its job. It's huge, it's absolutely huge. Uh, I'm in the bomb bay section of the B-36 Peacemaker. Uh, you can't go in the airplane, unfortunately. Kind of a bummer, but it's huge in here and you can walk through. There's like a pathway, um, no thanks. Those are the tires for the landing gear. Six propeller blades that push the airplane along. Two jet engines on each side to help get a little extra thrust. That's the, the leading edge of the wing. You can tell um, it was designed in the 40s, kind of built in the 50s. Uh, this airplane was built to be an intercontinental bomber, meaning it could take off from North America, take off from the United States and fly to Europe and drop a load of 
uh, some weapons, ordnance, and then get back without stopping anywhere for fuel. They didn't have in-flight refueling back then. But you can tell by the camber of the wing. Where's the wing? There we go. You can tell by the camber of the wing there. Um, it's very thick, like a high lift wing. Not great for high speed flight. It wasn't a fast flyer. All it had to do was get there and get back. Oh, I wish we could get inside. Lots of time, 45 minutes. This uh, giant model of the B-52. So the B-52 sort of really is the bomber that gets all the glory when it comes to the American bomber history uh, in the B-29, of course. There's a B-36 Peacemaker sitting right here. Fourteen minutes, no problem. Only got five minutes, man. Wish we had more time. Ah, uh, working on it. Yeah, this is so that's somebody's living room. Uh, I think they're talking about the space race. Hey, look, this is like a, a space capsule thing. Oh, another one. Huh? Air and space. I get it. Which way do we go? Am I the last one to leave? Maybe. <laughs> you guys almost got locked in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can pit stop. Thank you very much. You have a good day. You too. That was amazing. I got to see the B-36 Peacemaker. There's only four of them in the world, so that's, uh, I feel lucky. I just stopped at this Phillips 66 gas station. Still in Nebraska, about an hour into the drive. Um, I had to make a desperate pit stop. It was good. I needed a cup of coffee and an apple. So, I'll talk to the next pit stop. Oh, I, I got a piece of pizza for the road too. But I got an apple. Holy smokes, look at that. I had to pull off the road. Um, I was making such a good time, but I, I gotta stop and watch the sunset, cause that's just, Had to make a quick pit stop again for about an hour from home. Hey, look. That's kind of funny. Casey General Store. Uh, hopefully they have a washroom. And Sue, I'm sorry I won't make you watch any more videos. Ten. Ten twenty-three. I have arrived at my destination. Uh, wow. What a long day. You can't really see it. I just wanted to show you all the bugs that are on the window. Uh, and I didn't eat all my pizza. So if anybody wants a slice, there's two left. Oh man, back at the ranch, I don't know how to sum up that day. Uh, at first I was thinking it's too late and it was too late, but I think for me it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to kind of get up there and see the B-36, which is an airplane that I honestly believe is kind of underrated or under recognized because it's cool, man. It's huge midwest has the best sunsets that was the most spectacular that was i'm so glad i made the trip uh but i'm really tired so thanks for coming along on the ride if you have a favorite airplane what's your favorite airplane and why uh my name is wayne it's the wayne report sue feel better click like and subscribe and i'm going to bed see you tomorrow I think I totally pulled something doing that. Ouch. We're good. Oh, there's a whole nother section.